<laughs> and they say the world is your oyster. And this morning, it's clear. So is the Show Me Kitchen. One of the most anticipated events for Schlafly Beer is back this weekend with Stout and Oyster Festival. And today, we're giving you an inside look ahead of the excitement. So we have Schlafly Beer's manager and restaurants of restaurants and events, John, as well as we have Trace and Rob here, which is kind of exciting. Thanks so much, everyone, for joining us this yes, morning. Indeed. Now, we they, they're not even from St. Louis. We have some world travelers, if you will, <laughs> among us. But first, let's start with John. Just so people know, this festival, what can they expect? Well, uh, Stout and Oyster Fest um, is back, um, and we fly in 80,000, over 80,000 oysters. 20 professional truckers like these fine gentlemen yes. and we make over 10 specialty stouts um, that we'll be serving over the weekend uh, it goes friday from five until nine and then saturday from 11 until nine uh, it's free open to the public um, and uh, you can come purchase uh, beer and food all weekend i mean what an occasion <laughs> and it's remarkable because as you mentioned you fly in these professional shuckers so that's going to lead us to trace and raw here okay and you're just telling us let's start with trace where are you from north carolina durham north carolina north carolina and how many years have you been attending um this is my 13th year 13th year and raw i come from north of seattle and whidbey island washington state and my 21st year. Your 21st year. John, I mean, look at that. They're, right? they're coming here for yes, this. this every is, year. If you didn't believe this was a big deal, you ought to believe it now. Okay, so we're gonna talk about shocking oysters because you guys are the professionals. So why don't you talk us through the process and maybe we can work on some. I don't even really know where to start. Start with a great fresh oyster. Okay, we're gonna start with a great fresh oyster. Then we start with a proper opener, oyster opening okay. utensil. I'm gonna let you do the first one. Okay. Okay. For here, we have the hinge of an oyster. Oh, oh, thank you. And then up about here, we have the muscle that opens and closes that oyster. Okay. And our objective oh. Oh, is wow. to get inside and sever that muscle okay. off the top of the shell. Okay. And present a nice, and that's, happy oyster. That's the oyster. We come underneath. Okay. Free him up. Yeah. And he's ready. He's ready. So that's what you eat? That's what you eat. Okay. Well, without the shell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that shows you just how much I know about oysters. I'm learning so much today. Okay, so now what, what are, would be your tips then? If, if you're an amateur like me, you have no idea what you're doing. Amateurs? Yeah. Wear a good protective glove okay. or, or wrap a towel. Or wrap a towel. A okay, dish so towel wrap around That's the oyster. This is a good one. Oh, this is a good one. We yeah. see some success with this one. Well, you got the hinge right there, okay, right? That's so, the hinge. So right? I'm just gonna, so you're gonna it goes just in. Wiggle it in there gently. We're gonna next thing yeah, you know, yeah. you're we're gonna be the breaking news here at KSDK. <laughs> Host chops off her hand. I'm just kidding, everyone. I got this. I, I'm I'm surrounded by professionals. However, Trace, I'm not gonna lie, you Raw was making this look a lot easier. Than it is. Well, basically, what this, what I tell people, I mean, it takes is, some is, ump, is, right? Well, you, you push it till it won't go anymore. Okay, so you have to and, push, and, and, so, and it's not. And then once you get it to where it won't go yeah. anymore, then you just turn it. Oh, and then you turn it. And so it says this is a little bit of a turn. Okay. And then I do a little bit different than raw, but okay. But basically, like you said, you take that top abductor muscle off. Oh my gosh! Well, y'all just make it look so easy. And then the bottom one. So. Let's see here. That is, so now why stouts? Why oysters and stouts? Because they're delicious together. They're There's delicious together. It just works. Okay, now while I start to work on this one, we're going to wrap up here, but we want John to kind of share a little bit more because this event also has live music as well. It does. We have a lot of uh, live local music. Uh, we've got Andy Coco's NOLA Funk and R&B Review and Funky Butt Brass Band, Ooh. along with many others. The full lineup is on our website. Oh my John, I think All I got right. it. That was exactly what I needed. Just slide your knife. I really think I, oh, I broke, I broke the oyster. It happens. I broke, I thought I had it, but She's I She's a greenhorn. What's that mean? I don't know, but I think it sounds bad. No, I broke okay. it, I broke it. I was so close. Okay, you know what, everyone? Leave it to the professionals. That's what we learned from this segment. All right, <laughs> leave it to the professionals. Go to the festival as just a, a, a customer, and I think you might have a better time. March 24th through the 25th, again at the Schlafly Tap Room. You can meet people like Trace and Raw who give you all the ins and outs of oyster shucking, and I'm sure that they will teach you a little bit thing or more than, than I was able to take up. But thank you both, all of you, for joining us in our studio. This was fun. Learned something new today. I appreciate it. Yes, indeed. And we'll be right back.